Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. My lesson today is on how to identify vertices, edges, and faces. We have a three-dimensional figure here. It's a solid figure that has three dimensions. So a three-dimensional figure will have three different measurements. We have length, width, and height. This isn't an example of all solids, just one three-dimensional solid, and we call this a rectangular prism. And this is what I'm going to use today to explain vertices, edges, and faces. So edges, by definition, are line segments that meet at vertices, and they're also the lines that are formed when two faces meet. So you can see that understanding edges means you also have to understand vertices and faces. So let's put this all together today. So edges here is, here's one edge, one, two, three, four, and in a minute you're going to learn that those four edges form a face. And we go to the back, right here, so that's five, six, seven, eight edges, nine, 10, 11, 12. So in order to draw this solid, I needed 12 edges. Now let's talk about the vertices. The vertices, in that's plural, singular would be vertex, and those are the points where the sides or the edges meet at a corner. You can also think of them forming angles. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight vertices in this solid. Think about when you've probably made three-dimensional figures using toothpicks and marshmallows. Your marshmallows were your vertices or your gumdrops. Now let's talk about faces. Faces are flat surfaces that make the three-dimensional figure. So think about making a box and what material you would use to make the box. The material you use to make the box forms your faces. So if you're making a cardboard box, then your faces would be cardboard. So let's count those faces. This is gonna be harder to show on a computer, but we're gonna try. We have our front face, so you can see I made it purple. And then we have our back of our box, our back face. So those are two faces. And then I'm going to show you, we have our top and we have our bottom. And then we have our two sides, side, side. So we have our front and our back, two, our top and a bottom, making four, and our two sides, making six. So we have six faces. You could also think of your front and your back as sides too, and that you have four sides connected by a top and a bottom, but you have six faces all together. And again, they meet at the edge, and the edges meet at the vertices. So now it's your turn. I want you to use this three-dimensional solid, which is a pyramid. It's actually a pentagonal pyramid because the base is a pentagon. I want you to identify the number of vertices, edges, and faces. Please pause the video now and come back when you're done. All right, here's our solution. So first I'm gonna count the vertices. So we're gonna start at the top. We know that we're gonna have six. I hope you got that. Now let's go count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, six vertices. Now we're going to count our edges. I hope that you came up with 10 edges. So let's start to count them. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 edges. Sometimes I ask students to use a marker or a highlighter, colored pencil, and shade in as you're counting, and then that way you can't leave one out. 
Now faces get a little bit harder just to imagine, but you gotta imagine unfolding this solid. So there are six faces. We have a bottom. That bottom is one solid face. And then if we look at how many sides our bottom has, that's gonna tell us how many more faces we have. So we can see that we have five sides, this one in the back, the second one in the back, and then one, two, three in the front. And you can see if we go around the base of this, we can see that we have to have five faces coming off the base that all form at this vertice. So we have a total of six faces, 10 edges, and six vertices. And that's how you identify vertices, edges, and faces. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.